Earlier this season, I was at Brimstone's White Knuckle event with uh, my brother and some friends, and we competed in the events there and, and had a great time. And on my way home, I stopped for a second and I thought about it. And I realized that I haven't been to Brimstone just to ride their trails in nearly five years. The Brimstone trail system is located right in the town of Huntsville, Tennessee. You drive into Huntsville and you get this really small town feel. And when you're driving through the main street, you're thinking to yourself, I'm a long way from any kind of amenity. But the truth of the matter is Brimstone and the town of Huntsville are actually in very close proximity to all the things that you could possibly want uh, for a week traveling and riding ATVs. I've been to Brimstone one other time and it was with an intro to the Kawasaki Terex 4 and uh, we just did a short ride so I really hadn't experienced Brimstone as it's meant to be experienced. One of the things I like a lot about riding the Brimstone trails is that you're not pigeonholed into any one type of accommodation. There's literally every type of accommodation you could want while you're here to suit any type of riding group or riding situation. Something Brimstone has done that I think is really, really smart is they've combined all the different mom and pops, rental units and cabins and campgrounds into one central location for you. Go on their website, you can check out what's available, find out the prices and book it right there. The one we stayed at, the, the luxury cabin, was one of the nicest cabins I've ever stayed. We've been many places where we've seen different types of accommodations, and I think Brimstone does a good job at giving the, uh, the overall package for accommodations. You can be a camper, or you can rent these uh, cottages that are on site and chalets, and they're wonderful. Sweet. Before we went riding, we met up with our main contact guy here at uh, Brimstone, Mark Love. And, and I've worked with Mark on many occasions. AJ went to Alaska with Mark and his crew a few seasons ago, and that was quite an adventure. And Mark is the guy. He knows everything about Brimstone. He's super involved in Brimstone. And he's the guy who's gonna show us around, show us the trails, take us to all the best spots, and basically take care of us while we're here. Howdy, gentlemen. Hey, how's it going? Morning, Mark. Morning. Howdy, that's a proper name for here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You bet. The trails that we have at Brimstone are basically about 300 miles in total. We have a wide variety of trails from anything from the easiest trails for families and, and the beginners to the most challenging trails. Well, you know, Brimstone is, uh, is gaining quite a reputation for a really hardcore place and uh, also a good family place to ride. And I really wanted to see it firsthand and experience riding the miles of trails and getting back off some of the beaten path trails, which we did when we were here. And I'll tell you, it was quite an experience. To experience uh, wide open vistas with uh, with large hardwood stands, um, as well as um, you know, sort of like a Smoky Mountain feel, because we have such a great viewscape here, and it's tremendous. My ride at Brimstone, I'll take home a lot of memories, and the biggest memory I'm going to have of Brimstone truly is the Smoky Mountains and the scenery, and the vistas and the views that we saw. And uh, it's beautiful country, it really is. I mean, it was, it was amazing to stand up in some of those hilltops and see the views of the Smoky Mountains, the fog off in the distance, and you know, it, it was really an experience that I'll remember for a long time. 
There are a few things every riding area absolutely must have before I would consider it to be welcoming to new riders. And Brimstone has them all. It, it, first of all, you gotta have great mapping. Without great mapping, a rider who shows up who's never been there before has no idea where to go or how to get to the places they wanna get to. And something that goes along with mapping and is equally as important is great signage. It, well, you can have great maps, but if you don't have great signs to indicate where you are on the map, you're just as lost as you were with no map. Great trail maintenance is very important. I, I really don't like going to riding areas that are beat to crap. I don't like it. I think that if you're gonna charge somebody to ride in an area, you should spend some of that money to take care of the riding area. And Brimstone does a great job of this. They're out on the trail, working on the trails every day, bulldozing and cutting and fixing spots that have been messed up. And these are all aspects of a great riding area and Brimstone has them all. The trails at Brimstone are more technical than pretty much any other place I've been to. We still managed to find an extra technical spot. Mark took us to this one uh, trail. It was so tight, the wildcat would barely fit through the trees and I was rubbing the fenders on trees and doing three point turns. And then we come up to this spot on the trail and I would have to say it's one of the more unique natural land formations that I've really ever seen on an ATV trail. Okay guys, like, you know, basically this bridge was here when we got here and we just built the trail up to the top of the mountain. It's pretty narrow and you're going to have a difficult time getting that wildcat across through here. You um, think John should be the one to drive it across? Yeah, I really do. I think well, John's the guy. I'll tell you what, Luke, I might have tried it 10 years ago, but you're on your own on this one, man. <laughs> it's just, I'm just not going to do her. Nope. Okay. So I, have, I think I have the skill, I just don't have the nerve anymore. Those well, what's two things are connected, you yeah, know. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it is what it is. And the guys who were there kind of took a look at the side-by-side -side and a look at the bridge and were pretty convinced it couldn't be done. And uh, my nature is to say, yes, it can be done and do it whether it can be or not and find out the consequences after. So we, uh, we figured we'd do the bridge. John wouldn't do it, whatever. Now that's not the end of the story because once you cross the bridge, you've got this gnarly rock garden that you have to get through and it's rough. It was, it was a tough climb out. So you had to cross the bridge and then you had to climb out of the rocks. And you know, the Wildcat's a great rock crawler. It's a great vehicle. It's awesome in the rocks, in the rough stuff. But step one was to get across that bridge and, and everybody was pretty convinced it wasn't gonna happen. We got her done. It was just more than, than I, I, I couldn't expect running uh, a, a side by side through the, the the train that we did yesterday. It was really, really rough and gnarly. When I think about taking a week's vacation to go ride ATVs, um, I often think to myself, I love riding ATVs, but even five days of just riding ATVs might get a little tiring and I might get a little bored. That's why I think it's really important when you go to an area to ride ATVs, specifically an area like Huntsville and the trails at Brimstone, it's really good to look into what else you can do there. In this case, we talked to Mark about what we could do and what he likes to do in the area, and he brought up fishing in the river. Part of our visit to Brimstone included a morning of fishing, and uh, we were told we'd be fishing for muskie. And I thought, well, I can win this one. And uh, I was looking forward to it, and, and after the trim and I got on uh, our day of riding the day before, I thought, this is where I'm gonna excel, and you know what, we're gonna hand this butt to him on the platter when it comes to boat and fish. So we embarked out on this adventure to, to fish in the river, and Mark had promised us muskie and 
largemouth bass and pickerel and he said there was tons of them in there. So I was expecting a real fishing adventure and uh, it didn't really turn out the way we thought it would. I know that John really wanted to show me up, but he didn't catch anything either, so that didn't happen. But you know what? That's fishing, and that, that was a first time experience for Luke. And uh, you know, we had a good time, and that, that's, that's what it's all about. And I think that he enjoys experience, and uh, I enjoyed spending the time with him in the boat. We had a good time, that's what it was all about. I find that no matter where I go, I always take something home with me from a trip. At Brimstone, I, I definitely took a few thoughts home with me. The first one I took home with me is that uh, fishing is a sport of patience, that's for sure, and I don't have much, so it's not really for me. But I also took home with me that ATVing is way more fun when you're at a place that caters to ATVers, to real ATVers, a place that understands the real ATV enthusiast and has and provides what the real ATV enthusiast will need and want. And Brimstone does that. I think the mark of a really good riding destination is one that leaves you feeling like you still want more as you're leaving, like you want to return. And I can honestly say I want to go back to Brimstone and I want to ride more. I think that's a good endorsement.